So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this U-Siphon right here, which is also called a bridge siphon. It's very simple to do as long as you have these few pieces. So I'll just go over it and show you how I make it. And then this is how you can connect basically two different grow beds together to allow them to stay at the same height if you don't want to cut any holes in them. But this is what I'll be showing you in this video. Here's what I'll be using to make the U-Siphon. I'm going to use a clear pipe just so I can basically see the water going through it. I'll have to cover it though. And then this will be in the center of the pipe with this ball valve. And I have the 290s, just normal PVC. And then for the setup I'm going to do, since I'm going to have a pipe running down uh, the length of the grow bed, I'll have another 90 a cap and this. But just for the U, U siphon part, that's what you need right there. More pipe than that though. But 290s, this thing, if you can't find this kind of thing, you can just use a normal one and reduce it with a bushing. But this was a, I guess, a special one. But that is what you'll need. So I have all the pieces cut now. Now I just gotta rinse all these things off and then I'm gonna try just dry fitting it and see how that goes. If I need to glue it, I will. But I have this one over here with a 90, a clear pipe, this kind of T with this adapter. As I said, if you don't have this kind or you probably can't find it since I got this some time ago when I got a lot of PVC fittings for free. But you can just use a an adapter. Let me grab that real quick. So yeah, if you don't have one of these, you can get just a normal PVC T, which you can find at your local hardware store. And one of these you can stick in there. Probably some a smaller hole than that. So you can get a smaller ball valve. But that's that. And then this little thing is just a ball valve. I think it's a half inch. Yeah, half inch ball valve with a piece of PVC there and a uh, male nipple thing to attach a hose, a clear PVC hose, which I don't have. Not like one of these, a flex, flex hose. So that's for that part. And then I got another PVC, a 90, and then this piece. I have those holes here. I still need to get another one of these to put at the bottom, or another end cap, but I don't have one right now, so it's fine. I just need it on the one side, because the one side has crayfish, but that is just an extra safety thing if I do put this at the bottom and it gets clogged. But you do want it sucking from the bottom so it can get the stuff. But that is pretty much the setup right there. This is for the pipe. I can show you that. It's a pipe that's going to be going underneath the grow bit itself, or in the grow bed itself. So this is the pipe I'm gonna put underneath the grow bed. On the one side it's got all the slits so that the water comes out on this side of this. So it's gonna go underneath here. So I basically have to move these wraps and stick it underneath there. And then I have the U-Siphon done. So this is how it looks, finished product. So now it's a matter of getting that pipe underneath and then sucking the air out. Here you can see the U-Siphon in place. 
So it goes down here. Still need to get a cap for that end. And then over here, that clear pipe I'll cover with something just so it doesn't build algae. Then you have this. This I still need to get like a clear vinyl tubing. Then you got the pipe going down there. And then this is attached to this one. You don't have to have this pipe at the bottom. I only have that so that the water can travel first over to here and then exit out the drain over there. So that's that's the U-Siphon, how that looks. It's a lot better than the one I had before, which is like this. I mean, they do the same thing, but that one is just easier to get going so I don't have to take it out and put it back. So I'll get it going and see how it works. Now you can see the siphon working, so that's how it is. There's a lot of stuff under this grow bed over there, since there's not enough air, air stones under there, and there's like no fish or crayfish to move it around. But you can see the stuff moving out there. So that's basically how you do it. Here you can see the completed U siphon. So the water is now going through there. Show you that. That's pretty much how the U-Siphon works. It sucks water from this grow bed. It's all dirty because I mix it around. There's no like air stones or there's not enough air circulation down here or any fish to move the gunk around. But you can see the stuff goes through there and then into this grow bed and then they become the same levels basically to where that water's coming out from the pipe. And I have the water entering on this side of the grow bed in a pipe lift this up underneath there well that's all for this video in this video I just showed you how to make your own U siphon using these materials so it's very simple it doesn't take too long as long as you have the material so if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe thank you for watching